Hey guys, welcome to Bobini Creates. My name is Jeannie and I am here to do another whip day video, this time in summer nights. This week's work in progress is going to be the title page, not title page, um, nameplate page. And so just to kind of get you up to speed, um, the flowers and the leaves have all been completed with Arteza pencils. And I was um, wanting to do the birds in Arteza watercolor pencils. So that's what this is here. Now, I realize he looks a little um, pinky, you know, compared to like the rest of the page. So my idea is that I wanted to deepen some of the darker areas with more of like this color purple. Um, the only thing, though, is I didn't really see that color in the watercolor uh, pencils so much. So I'm going to go ahead and complete these um, kind of like you see the, the first one there, you know, just sort of with the several colors that I've um, already used. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So um, sometimes on these, I don't love the idea of having all these tiny little intricate bits to do. <laughs> I just don't. So um, my thinking on this was that I would just sort of fill everything in and then I can sort of pick out the pieces a little bit here and there if I feel like I want to, you know, darken certain areas or define those more, I can go ahead and do that. That's just sort of what I'm looking at at this point, I think. Um, yeah, I think that'll, I think that'll be good. So let me just sort of continue. So we're just putting the watercolor pencil on here and then we'll activate that with a water brush here in a moment. So, um, I like, I like the way this turned out. Um, they're all a little bit different, so, you know, you can't necessarily duplicate exactly the same <laughs> process, which I don't know that I'd want to do that anyway, but, okay, so that was my plum purple, and now I'm going in with the amethyst purple, and, um, just sort of deepening parts of that, I think. And I'm just going right over these, these little bits of um, Zen Doodle parts. I, I just really don't want to, and actually I'm going to come in here and do this as well in the purple, um, but I just, I don't want to have to fuss with those too much. That's just not on my agenda today, so... Um, I don't really have too much of a game plan here. I'm just kind of winging it. But I thought I'd bring you along with me. So I missed um, the, my streaming this week, which I've really been enjoying streaming. So that was, you know, sort of disappointing that I wasn't able to, to do that. But the reason being, if you've been watching any of my videos, you'll know that we are having our hot and cold water pipes replaced this week and so it's super noisy and messy and um yeah it's just not very I, I didn't feel like I could film well I couldn't have been able to it just I could hardly hear myself think much less film a video so I decided to sort of spare you guys the <laughs> the drama of my the craziness that is my house right now so that's that's what I did let me get a little bit darker down here as well, I think. So um, they got, they made some really good progress. And even though it's, you know, a lot of work and it's, it's tearing up the whole house. I have holes absolutely everywhere. In, in every room I have holes in my walls. So that's, that's not, <laughs> that's not uh, too easy to live with right now. Everything's um, not in its place and it's just a mess. So like my studio, I was so pleased for a while because I, you know, was thinking, oh, I'll have my, my office to myself and I'll be able to sit back here and color. And yeah, I'm able to sit back here and color, but the problem is that we had to remove, um, <clears throat> or move, relocate things that were in closets and stuff to other places. So temporarily, I have um, all sorts of things on the floor of my office 
And so it's just, right now it's not my little sanctuary. Right now it's a mess. And I mean, that's fine because, you know, you do what you got to do to get things done. But right now it is, uh, it, I can't even reach my coloring books, much less, you know, I don't even know, uh, other things. So it's, it's, it's something else. <laughs> So I had a few coloring books out, so I'm just sort of making do with what I have, what I can reach, I guess. And um, that's the way it's going. So, But the good news is they're, they should be done sooner rather than later. And I'm really excited about that. They were saying a week and a half, and it probably still will be as far as because they also have to... So they have to swap out all the, the pipes or kind of by, bypass the old pipes. Um, but they also have to repair all those holes and, and drywall. And then after that, we'll have to go in and paint. So even though we're getting close to having the plumbing part of it done, and I think they expect to have that done the first part of the week or, you know, midweek. So that's not horrible. Um, still, you know, there it, there's a long road ahead. We still have big messes on the horizon with the drywall and the painting. But you know what? We're just super glad to, to have it in the works. And, you know, it's it's getting done, and that's what we we wanted. So it's all good. But, yeah, I've been sort of um, not doing a whole lot here in the way of things on my coloring channel because I just I just don't have the quiet to do that, you know. Actually, um, let me grab a little bit right in there. And anything I miss, I can go in with pencils. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Did get a little bit of um, watercolor right there. So let me see if I can sort of lift that with a tissue. And if I can't, that's fine, because no doubt I'll be doing a background of some sort. And um, yeah, that's better, I think. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so... A little more purpley. I did find, after I did this one, I did find a pencil that was a little more purpley than that one is. So actually, you know what, let me come in here a little bit more and activate, I think. Okay, um, so that was good, you know. Let's see here. So I think let's do similar here. But yes, on these pages, sometimes sometimes I'm in the mood to do all the little detailed parts and sometimes I'm not. So um, right now, this just seemed like a better way to go about it. I actually really like the way that's sort of variegated. I think that one turned out really good. All right, let's see here. So I've had a week of sort of insomnia, and I think it's because of the craziness, you know, in the house. So um, when that happens, I try to sort of stay put and not encourage myself to make my mind active and that type of thing. I did get up one of the nights and I colored a little bit, um, but which of course is always fun. I can't complain about that, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, there's something about like when your house is in disarray, it's it just it's a lot more stressful than you'd sort of think that it would be. And I'm not sure why that is, but it just is. <laughs> All right, let's come in here with this lighter pink. And this was the, what did I call that? The plum purple again. You know what? I think I figured out on this one I used less of the plum purple. Well, no, I guess that's what this is. I don't know. All right. Um, let's see here. And I find that I don't have to be too neat with this, really, because it ends up getting smoothed out, 
you know, once you activate it with the water, water pen. So these are so fun to use. Okay. Um, I think I'll, you know what I think I'll do is I think I'll come in here and the majority of this, I'll, I'll go ahead and use the pink and then I'll just go over the parts I want to darken with the, the purple. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I've got Jill pens over here at the ready. If we get that far on this project and I decide that I want to go ahead and get some detailed bits uh, with the gel pen, we'll do that. If if we don't get that far along, that's that's fine as well. I'm not trying to um, overthink it. So I don't know what I'm going to do for a background on this. So if you have any ideas, let me know. That's that's to be determined. <laughs> I'm just not sure. And it may not get one. Yeah, I'm fine with that as well. So are you guys getting all ready to do your wrap-up videos for the month of April? Um, and, and go ahead and post your finished pages. This month I have, you know, quite a few finished pages, but not as not as much as usual. And um, that's fine. I enjoyed what I colored and so it doesn't have to be, you know, that the the number is a high amount, but rather just that I had fun. At least that's the way I'm choosing to look at it. So yeah, I think it'll be good. All right, let me get the water out of there. I like to try to do the lighter bits first, just so that um, I'm not spreading the darker colors, you know, and making mud. And I didn't really mean to get his eye colored, but I did. My husband's home and he's trying to be super quiet. I feel bad. I, I kind of tried to find the right time where where I wasn't in his way to film this either, because that's no fun. He's a good sport, though, so I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, so got that. Let's move to the pink. And then when these dry, the other thing I could do if I want to is I can go in and I can deepen these colors and I'm not sure that I'll do that on this video or not. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get. I just knew that um, I missed you guys <laughs> with not being able to stream and I really do enjoy these whip day videos. Um, it's just a chance for me to get to be able to visit with you a little bit, for me to be able to get a little bit done. And I really hope that when I'm working on these, you know, my hope is always that you're working on something too. Um, so if you are, I'd love to know what that is. And it, you know, of course, doesn't have to be coloring for me to be interested in it. I, I love all sorts of crafts. So um, I hope that's what you're doing. It, it just, I like the idea of knowing that maybe you're enjoying something while I'm, while I'm enjoying working on this. So... And sometimes I do have people share that with me, and um, and that make, always makes me smile. I just really love that. And I love the way this is sort of fading. Like, I've got a little bit of a highlight going on there. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. Okay, let's do this little guy down here. I don't remember if I got his beak, so I'm going to come in here and do that real quick. <laughs> So I've been able to do um, okay as far as, you know, our kitchen's been all tied up, but I have been able to manage like putting things in the Instant Pot and kind of putting that in an out of the way sort of a spot so that we still had something to eat. Because, you know, we, we like takeout fine, but we're probably would rather eat a home-cooked meal. So that is what I tried to do anyway. Um, I'm thinking probably this next, like Monday and Tuesday, it's gonna it's gonna be takeout though, because 
that's going to be like cut over date, you know, to be able to switch to the new pipes. And so the water truly will be turned off for the majority of the day. So um, I think that would be a good time to not worry about cooking. <laughs> but I made easy things, you know, just chili and um, like a simple little chicken dish. And yeah, it's been it's been good. Let's see. So I got that. Let's do, hmm. You know what? I'm going to use more yellow on him, I think. At least on his back here. It's fun to be able to use the same colors, but just to be able to vary it up a little bit. That way it kind of ties everything together. And um, so I think that's good. Let's see. Let's do, I'm going to do this bit yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just bumped the camera. My apologies for that. Okay. Okay. I think we'll go with that and then we'll fill this in with the pink. I'm just really not overthinking the the patterns on these, but rather just, you know, just trying to get a little bit of each of the colors throughout the page to make it a bit cohesive. Okay. I think that's pretty good. And then I'll come in here with the purple and grab this. So for those of you who are Fred fans, in other words, my, my tortoise that I love to talk about, he's been doing really good. He's been, it's been just a really, it seems like a really active week for him. He's just, every time I check on him, he's, he's in some little other spot digging or, you know, just getting into shenanigans kind of. And I always just get a kick out of that. I love to see him enjoying himself, I guess. And when he's active, I, I feel like he's, he's enjoying himself. So at least that's my hope. And the other thing I always think is when he's stretching and he's, he's out of the shell, I always think that that means that he's feels at home and, and safe and relaxed. And so that always makes me really happy too, but it's starting to get warmer here. So he's, um, Spending a little bit more time trying to, I think, stay cool. And he's got his little, little, oh, it's not really a pond, but his little um, place where he can soak his uh, little dish, really. It's a terracotta pot. He's been spending time in that, and he's found himself, I try to keep this one area sort of muddy, and he, he likes to, <laughs> oh, gosh, I did it again. I'm so sorry. Um, he likes to head over there too and um, and sort of just hang out in that or dig in that spot and it just always sort of cracks me up. So he is doing good and eating good and all of that makes me super, super happy. Let's come in here. I feel like I want that to be a little bit darker there as well. Okay. These are so cute. I just love her work though. Just each page has something. They're similar, you know, because her style is so, um, specific so it's just a very discernible style but each page is so different and I love that that you just 
you know who you're coloring, you know, because they, they look similar that way, but she just puts all different elements on, on her various pages, and it just makes it a pleasure to, to grab a book and go to town on a, on a page. Okay, so I think I'm going to call that good for a second. I think what I'll also do is I'll dry this off a minute, and um, then I'll come back and we'll see about adding a little bit of pencil. Actually, wait, wait, wait. This guy, actually, I'll use this color here. I notice his little top knot needs a little color. Activate that a little bit. Okay, I think we will call that good, and I'll see you in a moment. So I think I've decided um, instead of moving on to the pencil work at this point, I think I'm going to just sort of um, add another layer in in some spots anyway of this uh, watercolor pencil. I just think that might might make it a little bit richer looking. So that's what we're doing here. just a little bit brighter. Oh, pardon me, I'm going to sharpen this real quick. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. Do we want any more right there? I don't think so. I think I really do sort of want those little graduations of color. So actually, I did add a little bit here as well. So let's do that. And I'm just letting it sort of fan upward a little bit so that it kind of is a a nice little um, softened look as it as it goes towards the top of his head. And same thing here, I can just sort of come inward a little bit there. So it just adds a really light layer. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good. Okay, so that's that. Now let's move. Yeah, I might as well do um, this one up here. Same thing. I think I'm gonna get a darker color. Let me move this down a little bit if you don't mind. Yeah, I like that little bit more uh, intensity. Like, I'm really going to... Um, like that on uh, there's one of the bottom birds I feel like could really benefit from a little bit more color so I'm looking forward to adding some there and while you've got a little bit on your brush you can also just sort of go in and dab it here and there if you want Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, do we want any more, you know, like here? Yeah, sure, why not, right? And I could even just sort of do like this and deepen these up a little bit. So this month I actually did end up with more whips than I had meant to. 
And I'm actually just okay with that. I'm, I'm starting to realize that that's okay and I, I don't have to force myself to finish everything every single month. So I'm not going to. So that is just fine. I've been enjoying the, just doing like a little bit here and there and making some progress, you know, but you know what? I like that a lot. Um, let's go here. This is the one I was referring to that I really feel like he could use some additional help. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, I've been, uh, just as I have little bits of gaps of time here and there, I, I've been having fun just join, enjoying random bits of um, coloring pages. Maybe not, you know, getting a whole, uh, excuse me, I can't talk today, getting a whole lot done on that page, but, you know, just enough to where it's filling that time, it's keeping me occupied, and... And I'm making some progress on a page, so that's all good. So I've really kind of enjoyed that. Just little little bits of colorings here and there on little bits of pages. If if that makes sense. I'm not sure how clear I was on that. But um There we go. I think that helps just to deepen it up. And I can still go in with pencil and I, I think I will, but I think this getting a second layer, at least in parts, I think is really gonna help. These are so fun to work with though, they really are. And I sometimes I think to myself, gosh, I, I really should enjoy them more. I don't, I don't know why I don't drag them off my shelf more often and use them, but when I'm playing with these, I realize how much I really do enjoy them, though. These are intense, you know, just, gosh, just so much fun to work with. And it's just something different, and that's fun too. And not that it matters, but you can cover a bigger area, and you can, you know, blend super simply. See this thing right here will probably get a pencil on it, but I'll help it along. Okay, yeah, I like it. And doesn't that look better with just a little bit more color? I think it, I really think it adds to it. Yeah, this is, I'd like to add a little pencil down in there. Okay, so let's work on this little guy. Or girl. And this is just another nice alternative to feeling like you have to color every little little bit to a page you really don't have to you can do it however you want to and if that means going over all these little intricate details well then that's what you feel like doing that's what you feel like doing and it's a nice option okay that's looking pretty good and then a little bit more of this I think Okay, we are on the home stretch. And like I said, the flowers, I just did those exclusively with the Arteza pencils. Those were not watercolor pencils. But what's cool is they have the same um, colors so you can you can match them pretty simply that way if you need to. So that's kind of neat. In other words, they have the same names, which is kind of kind of a nice feature, I think. 
Okay. And you can blend in the colors. Like I don't have to keep my purple separate from my pink or, you know, whatever. Like um, this one up here, I really did a lot of combining of colors. And I like the look of that as well. I need a little bit more water there. Okay, I can definitely tell a difference between those being um, activated with a second coat. And so let me go ahead and stop there. I wanna dry this and then um, we can come back and use a little bit of pencil. I won't, I won't spend a lot of time on that because I don't wanna keep you too long, but I think it might be fun just to see a little bit of pencil work and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm coming back with really the same colors that I used in the watercolor pencils. I'm gonna use in the just the regular Arteza pencils. So that's the Plum Purple, the Tuscan Sun, and the Amethyst Purple. And that's because I don't, I'm just kind of going in with the darkest of the colors to um, do a little bit of shading and deepening of color, but I, I don't really want to go over the whole thing because I like the watercolor look. So we're just going to kind of do a little little bits of these kinds of things, I think. And um, just give it a little bit of oomph. <laughs> and that's all I kind of wanted to do here is just that type of thing. Now, um, the other thing that I could have done is I could have come in and I could could do these each little individual thing if I wanted to. Um, I am not going to do that here. If I do that, if I do that, I think it's going to be with gel pen. But I'm not even convinced I'm going to do anything with those. I, I think sometimes I like to just sort of walk away from my projects a little bit. And then d make a decision at that point. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and hit this with a little bit of pencil, walk away, come back and see if I, I need anything else. Um, purple or pink? I think let's just go ahead and do the pink. Or it's called plum here. Okay. Actually, I might add a little bit of the purple to that. Okay, I kind of like that. And maybe just a tiny little bit here. Oh, my goodness, I'm not in camera. Sorry about that. A little bit down here. And that just adds a little bit of intensity, I think. This one, actually, maybe a little bit of the, the yellow. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I like it. That adds a little bit. I am going to turn this a little bit. And again, like I could come in and I could darken all these little points here. Um, I'm not going to. I'm enjoying just sort of the simplicity of this, I think. And but again, when I walk away, I, I can anything's possible. I could come back and decide that it needs more. But for right now, I'm enjoying the, the look of this as I'm working on it anyway. Okay, something like that. And then let's get a little bit of pink in here, I think. Oh, 
Okay, pretty. Okay, and I think I'm probably gonna call it a video, but that gives you an idea at least of um, where I'm at with the pencil work is just little bits here and there. I'm not trying to recreate the whole a bit of coloring that we just did. I'm just trying to enhance it a little bit, but I like it. I think that's really pretty. So um, I think we'll call it that and um, I will let you go and I will see you on my next video and uh, hopefully next week we'll get a stream out of this channel. It depends on how noisy my house is but thank you so much for your patience with that and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone!